Okay, so this is kind of checking a few things. Let me go tab over where this is going right now to Google Plus. I am growing weeds here. <laughs> so it's basically because I'm not moving, it's posting stuff. I hope you brought deodorant. <laughs> and now, if you actually look at the creative of his little plus page, and I'm I am sorry. Am I interrupting you? The shoe is kind of running around. Not sure what C is. I am bored. <laughs> Right, so just as I push from here, you can imagine in a world where some of this can be automated or right now authenticated by users. So let's get the mic off and try Wake me up when you want to go somewhere. <laughs> this is getting embarrassing now. So <laughs> let me see what happens if I just run around a little bit. <laughs> so, well, apparently I'm not athletic enough for this shoe. <laughs> yeah, it's why we figured out I'm running right now. Look at me go. So you see, like, based on my different movements that I'm making, uh, all the sensors, it's giving it a personality and telling a story. So imagine following a bunch of people. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so you can imagine over a period of time, and this is a very early experiment, but you can imagine this shoe getting a different personality. Now let's check out Ben's shoe. Now, while this was going to Google Plus, it has a completely opposite personality. Hold on, let me just. So this is the lazy bone shoe that hates being taken out for a long time. <coughs> Especially with a bike in front of it. This is so humiliating. I'm so comfortable like this. <laughs> That's really obsessive now. Snoring as effects. <laughs> <laughs> so you kind of get the idea there, right? That you can give her shoes personality. Hold on, let me get my need to refresh this one. Hell yeah. So that was the content that was kind of coming from shoes. Now it's kind of solid. Um, there's probably some lag here going on here. Um, but the idea here is like, as much as you can do um, on social media, what you're really doing is taking this data and converting it into shareable content that people would want to read, right? I went for a 3.8 mile run and I did seven and a half minutes a mile. Not very interesting. But a few pieces of commentary like that that interpret that data into a personality, much more shareable and interesting. This is some, a mocked up banner ad that we put up on how a real time feed could be going into an ad. So imagine while we're, you know, Ben's more popular than me, especially on Twitter, but you could imagine, you know, athletes being equipped with a technology like this where you're watching a football game and you've got your laptop, tablet, whatever, on your, um, you know, in your living room while you're watching the game, checking out stats. And the 300 by 250 or the 728 by 90, which is now a distraction of click here, take me someplace away. It could actually be real-time commentary sponsored by the shoe company or the athletic gear company coming straight from the field into that ad. So that little piece of ad, using this data and using this you know, sort of logic of marriage of art copy, could actually turn into uh, a companion piece of content on that. It's really very early days. We've been four weeks into this. Uh, the intent is at some point when we sort of get a, working a little bit better to open source this so everybody else can play with this stuff. Uh, and really you know, find interesting applications of this type of logic-based uh, storytelling. So that's really our first experiment.